Department of Science and Technology DST, was established in May 1971 to promote new areas of science and technology in India. In its journey of 50 years, DST has organized, coordinated and promoted several science and technology activities in the country and nurtured a strong ecosystem of research and academic base in every field of science. In the last seven years, DST has doubled its investment in science and technology. During these years, the department launched many new schemes to double the opportunities for young and aspiring researchers to carry out research and development. The Vajra scheme was launched to bring the best of global science and scientists to India. Over the years, efforts were also made to bring more women into the field of science. The Kiran scheme was launched to bring gender equality in the field of science and technology. The department also tested a pilot scheme named Vigyan Jyoti on a limited scale to attract and encourage young girls to join the field of science. Recently, SERP, the Science and Engineering Research Board, has also launched a well-thought-out scheme titled SERB Power, promoting opportunities for women in exploratory research, designed exclusively for women scientists and researchers. Under AVSA, young researchers were encouraged to write popular science articles based on their research pursuits and compete in a national competition. A national program titled NIDHI, the National Initiative for Developing and Harnessing Innovations was launched to address the entire chain of innovations. 2,000 startups were incubated as part of NIDH. In order to attain excellence in science, there is also a need to strengthen the foundation of science. For this, DST launched a program called MANAK in 2018 to target 10 lakh students every year from class 6th to 10th, which is to be scaled up in numbers and also to include classes 11th and 12th. In view of the future, a national mission on interdisciplinary cyber-physical systems has also been launched with a total outlay of rupees 3,660 crore rupees for a period of five years. With the aim of spreading science among the masses, an internet-based 24-hour science channel called India Science was launched in early 2019 along with one-hour daily science programming on Doordarshan as DD Science. In line with the national agenda, some new schemes such as the supercomputing mission, advanced manufacturing, waste management and science and technology of yoga and meditation, Satyam, were also initiated. The department launched IMPRINT, that is, Impacting Research, Innovation and Technology, in partnership with the Ministry of Human Resource Development as part of inter-ministerial collaboration. IMPRINT aims to address and provide solutions to the most relevant engineering challenges. Similarly, inter-ministerial collaboration has also been developed with the Ministry of Railways, under which first phase of Cyber Physical Industry 4.0 has been implemented for the modern coach factory. Excellent progress has been made in programs on clean energy and water, nano science and technology, climate change research and outreach programs and also under the Mission Innovation Program with Smart Grid. A new dimension of cooperation in international science projects has also been established. This includes participation in the 30-meter telescope project, India-Israel Industrial Research and Development and Technological Innovation Fund. Overall, with its initiative and efforts in the last seven years, DST has offered many opportunities to all sections of the society to play an active role in the research and development and contribute to nation building. These opportunities have also enabled the citizens to grow and excel in their personal and professional pursuits. The efforts made by the Department of Science and Technology DST, over the recent years have been very evident and visible during the COVID pandemic. In the last one year, DST has achieved many successes in the war against the novel coronavirus. India's scientific institutions and scientists played a leading role in this fight. 
Shri Chitra, Tirunal Institute of Medical Sciences and Technology, SCT IMST, Thiruvananthpuram, brought out several technologies and products to combat the pandemic. Its one-step confirmatory diagnostic kit for COVID-19 responded to India's urgent need for rapid testing. The Center for Augmenting War with COVID-19 Health Crisis, Kavach, was launched to tackle the pandemic by scouting, evaluating and supporting the innovations and startups that address COVID-19 challenges. It led to a slew of technologies, diagnostics, drugs, disinfectants, sanitizers, ventilators and medical equipment, PPEs and informatics as solutions to contain, treat and manage the pandemic. TIFAC, Technology Information Forecasting and Assessment Council, provided recommendations for focused interventions for Make in India after the COVID-19 pandemic in its phenomenal white paper. The paper captured sector-specific strengths, market trends and opportunities in five sectors critical from the country's perspective. Healthcare, Machinery, ICT, Agriculture, Manufacturing, Electronics. Despite facing major challenges in 2020, the country pole vaulted into one of the top nations in science technology indices and reached laudable positions in several domains of science, technology and innovations. India's ranking in publications, R&D and innovations rose exponentially. According to the NSF, National Science Foundation database, India has been ranked third in scientific publications. It has also attained third position in terms of PhDs in size of higher education system as well as in terms of number of startups. As per Global Innovation Index, India has featured within top 50 innovative economies globally, currently at 48th rank. India has emerged as an important member of major international scientific alliances, particularly in areas such as global efforts in vaccine research, development and supply, and global partnerships in artificial intelligence. India was elected chairman of the executive board of the World Health Organization, WHO, which is another notable achievement and a nod to India's science and technology skills. Meanwhile, DST also released the draft of the fifth Science, Technology and Innovation Policy for public consultation. The proposed policy will bring profound changes through short, medium and long-term mission mode projects by building a nurtured ecosystem that promotes research and innovation on the part of both individuals and organizations. DST also created a vast network of supercomputers with several science and technology institutes under the National Supercomputer Mission, IIT BHU, IIT Kharagpur, IISER Pune, etc. Param Siddhi, the High Performance Computing Artificial Intelligence, HPC AI, achieved global ranking of 63 among the top 500 most powerful non-distributed computer systems. The Survey of India launched Pan-India High-Resolution Geospatial Mapping using advanced drone technology. With this, India joins the select club of few nations to have ultra-high-resolution national topographic data as foundation data. The Survey of India has also launched web portals to facilitate the access of the digital map or data to every citizen of the country. The Department of Science and Technology plans to concentrate on several new initiatives in the next five years to help the country scale new heights in the future. Department of Science and Technology connects science and technology sector to different government horizontals and verticals, academia, research and development and industry. It provides the largest extra-mural research and development support in the country to strengthen national science and technology capacity and capability. Through its current and future initiatives, the department aims to transform the science and technology landscape of the country for better outcomes in every sector, to make the country self-reliant in every field.